hi, my name's Angela and I'm cooking today a courgette and ricotta frittata as part of the City Catering Cooking at Home series. So I'm going to finely slice courgette. this onion, the trick is if you're chopping it, if you leave the root on, go down through the middle and then you slice it almost all the way down to the root like that and you cut it in half like that but almost to the root and then if you chop it, it'll come out nice and small and then hopefully the children won't notice too much that they have onions in their frittata remove the root. So in a large bowl, I'm going to put the eggs, I'm going to give them a whisk. Put eight eggs in there. And then I'm going to add the cheddar cheese, 25 grams, and the ricotta. Give it a good whisk in to the eggs. And what I'm going to do is the basil I've just roughly chopped, so I'm going to about, put about two tablespoons. And again, give it a good, good whisk in. And I'll just set that aside. I've got two tablespoons of oil in a frying pan. Heat that up. And I'm going to place the courgette in the bottom of the frying pan just to give it some colour. Don't overcrowd the courgette, you can't get it all in. Do it in a couple of batches. Which is what I'm going to have to do. Um, so, what we want is nice golden brown colour on the courgettes about four or five minutes to turn them over to the other side. Once courgette and done, take them off the heat, set them aside. Okay, I've had a, a tablespoon of oil back in. Do what you've used for the courgettes because that'd be nice and flavoursome. Just heat up the oil, we're going to pop our onion in to get soft. Give it a stir around. And we're going to let that go soft on medium heat. So while that's softening, you can chop your garlic. And I just tend to give it a just to make it a bit smaller and then add that to your onions. You see the onions are softening nicely. Give that a few minutes. Egg mixture and we're going to add our courgettes and our onions. Give it a good stir. Salt and pepper. Okay, so the next step, you could use your um, frying pan and cook it in the frying pan until it's cooked to the bottom and then put it under the grill to just cook the middle. And I'm actually going to do it in the oven, so I have got a lightly greased dish, which I'm going to pour this into, and then you cook it just like you would a quiche. So I've got the oven on about 180, and I'm going to pop it in there for about 
15 minutes or so and I'll check it after that. When it's cooked, as you can see, it doesn't wobble. If it wobbles, it needs a bit longer. This has taken about 25 minutes in the oven. And then all you do is put the knife along. And this is good hot or cold. Ideal for um, different, something different for a packed lunch. Onto your plate. And then um, I've got cherry tomatoes in here, which I've just halved, washed and halved. And I've put some of the basil in with them, because tomatoes and basil is a great combination. Works really well. Match your cherry tomato salad with the frittata. 